Welcome back to Mobile Tech World, and we're going to take a quick look at some of the 3D effects uh, provided by Microsoft for Windows Phone 7. As you probably already know, uh, there is no programmable shader support right now for developers, so they have to use uh, the predefined effects that Microsoft has compiled using up to 78 different shaders. So the first one is the basic effect. You can do uh, directional lightning, blend and fung, shading, textures on and off. Here we have three vertex lights. And if I turn on pixel lightning, you'll see that it's really slow, so it's better to use vertex lightning on the Adreno 200 GPU right now. No lightning. The next effect is the dual texture effect, so this is basically just multi-texturing. I can turn the texture off and you can see the light map right here. I can turn the light map off. Next we have the alpha test effect. You can do billboarding, imposters, and we have the skin effect, so this is actually GPU skinning. You can do up to 72 bones on the GPU. As you can see it's a little bit choppy and I'm gonna show you why later on in this video. We have the environment map effect. So this is your reflection effect. You can tweak the Fresnel and the spectral highlights. And finally the particles effect. So this is what third party developers have to use right now and maybe Microsoft will enable programmable shaders in a future update of the XNA Game Studio framework. Back to GPU scanning, as you can see this is the same model, it's running at only 13 or 14 frames per second, so this is really slow and not acceptable for an application. So I'm gonna switch to CPU skinning and you'll see that I've gained up to 10 frames per second. So if you are a developer developing for Windows Phone 7, make sure that you are doing your models skinning on the CPU and not the GPU. Because as of right now, the Scorpion processor is faster at doing it than the Adreno 200 GPU on the Windows Phone 7 devices. Here's a basic rim lightning effect. And some particles. So this is rendered in 2D, but all in real time on the GPU. And finally, this is how a finished game looks like on Windows Phone 7 so this is the harvest and as you can see it looks really 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 great everything is being rendered in real time and every texture in the game is compressed using DXT compression to save memory space and bandwidth So this was a quick look at the 3D rendering effects currently available on Windows Phone 7. So thanks for watching, you can catch me on mobiletechworld.com or mobiletechworld.tv on YouTube.